I'm the Bigglesworth, and welcome back to Alpha Craft. Yeah, buddy, I got my wings on, I tell you. I don't know why. All of a sudden, my brain understood these the other day, and now I've just been using the absolute mess out of them. I just went to the, the nether and to the ender ender and got myself all healed up and ready to go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And ma'am, whichever the case may be. Let's run over here and check real quick. I want to see how good this uh, this farm is doing. Oh, we got lots of white and gray. Wait. Why is that off and that's off? How about that? Okay, that's... Okay. It's really weird. It's like a lot of these have a really high level and then some of them have low levels. What in the world? Why is there almost no green? Yikes. I still hear it working though. And I let's see here. So we've got shears. Okay, so I'm gonna do the really cool trick where I've got all the uh, the shears. We'll dump these in here. That's gonna go into the system. And let's, let, oh, there you see, hear it going? Hear it going. So if we see this start to fill up in, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 seconds, then we know that not all the shears or, no, let me think of a different way of saying this. That means that all the hoppers that are up there are full. And so the overflow shears are coming back into the overflow chest. I almost should have... Oh, man, you can name items. I should have named the chest overflow chest. Okay, so see it's coming back? So, so the farm is full of shears. We're almost starting on our second chest of uh, wool except for green. So now green is missing. So we got missing wool and green. Whoop! There we go. Fly away, fly away. Who needs a slime sling that goes ape on you every once in a while? We can do this cool trick, right? I come in for a landing. Oh, and bonk my head. Oh my gosh, look at all those armor stands. Aha! Uh -huh. The server's been acting a little screwy today. Wait a minute, what? The retrospector was here. That is the retrospector banner. I knew it. Looks like a pig nose, but we'll go with it. Wait, is somebody trying to frame me? Wait a minute. What in the world? Retrospector? Um, if I break this off, is it going to go into the nether? Let's see. Where'd it go? I think it's in the nether. Close that. Let's see if we don't time out here. Yep, it's like I said, the, uh, the server's been acting a little... Th there we go. No, pick it up, Piggy. And all day long, you'll have good luck. As long as nothing spawns. Come on, there we go. Look at that. It's like Pac-Man. That's so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. But now we gotta go back through here. Set it back up. Th there's all kinds of craziness going on in this server, I tell you what. I don't even know what to make of this stuff. Oh man. So let's go ahead and put this back. Uh, the retrospector. It's almost like uh, somebody is going around vandalizing things they're like wait oh, i need to no no back up don't get stuck then all day you'll have bad luck um let's see here we <gasps> see what i mean it, it's acting like really weird let's go ahead. nope i want a place i want stop stop it i said okay i'm gonna keep backing up sometimes i do this if i get stuck in the portals you just keep pushing backwards until your character stops glitching through, and I think that's it. Are we here? Okay. Spin it around. I don't even remember if there was a certain orientation that mattered or not. That is so weird. And I don't even remember where I put my dirt texture now, so I can't go find and see. And how in the world is this working? Some of these dirt textures have been tagged, and some haven't. Ah, drive a pig insane, I tell you. <laughs> well, let's do this. I want to do this. Maybe it'll work. Every once in a while, when I go through, we notice that it puts you at the uh, the post office first. Nope, it put me here. Oh, it's because I didn't go to the overworld. A lot of times what happens is when you go through the portals, it'll put you over at the post office, and then your character will synchronize, and it will actually send you to where in the, the Minecraft world. Where in the Minecraft world am I, I tell you? <laughs> I have no idea. I zapped from the post office to wherever I was supposed to be going. I wanted to see if I had any mail. Sometimes I, when it desynchronizes for a second like that, I'll look to my right and see if I can see my mailbox. 
But since it's not going to cooperate, although, I hope, I hope, is it going to work? Let's see, how's it? Oh my gosh, look at that one bar. The other problem is if I take off running through the nether, I'll desynchronize with the server and I'll get kicked off. Let's see if this synchronized now. If I was hungry, I could test it. I could just try to eat a carrot. <gasps> there we go. Okay, quick, quick, look to the right. With all your might. <gasps> I got mail. Now, I can't go up to this because watch what's going to happen. It's going to zap me up here. <laughs> oh, time to get sick. Okay, we made it out. All right, let's go over here. We do, we do have mail. Came all the way over to the post office to find out. So let's go get our, our key. I'm surprised nobody else has taken my key out of there. Uh, mail token. And as soon as we see this light go off that we know that things are happening. I guess I could give myself some mail. Put some carrots in there make myself feel better. Come on now. There we go. Light off. Clickety click. Do the clickety click. Oh, I hear a pop noise. Mail token mail out. <gasps> contest invite by Stina Rose and my pigtail. Let's put that back so that we don't lose it. What is this contest invite? Hey guys, whoa, six pages. Hey guys, it has recently come to my attention that my last death on this server was over 300 real life hours of gameplay ago. That's pretty good. In honor of this momentous occasion, I'd like to invite you to participate in a unique event. This will be a contest to see who can kill me using the most entertaining, strategically accelerated death Rube Goldberg type machine here on AlphaCraft. To enter, simply rename. Look at this. Look at this. To enter, simply rename a diamond block with your name and drop it into my mailbox. Mm hmm. <laughs> this entry fee will be used as the grand prize for the contest winner. Okay, that's somewhat fair as long as all of the accumulated blocks go to the winner. There might be a sign up fee. You know, Tina like takes a diamond from each block. Who knows? The more alphas who sign up, the bigger the prize will be. All entry fees must be received on or before February 14th. Okay, so the fee has to be received before February 14th. When's the contest? All strategic. Sad. S A D. <laughs> All strategically accelerated death machines must be complete and ready for use the final week of February. I'll be going through the machines with my hands off the mouse and keyboard, so plan accordingly. Okay. Every participant will get to keep my dropped head as well as a commemorative banner. Oh, more banners. We got more stuff we can put in the museum. If I don't actually die in the machine, all prizes are forfeit. Uh oh. Uh, if the head is destroyed by the machine, a replacement will not be given. Okay. I look forward to experiencing your creatively, strategically accelerated death machine. If you have questions, please com contact me on Discord. Oh, man. We have to design something that's going to, uh, that's going to strategically kill somebody. <laughs> so that we can get our head and maybe win a bunch of diamonds. Oh, I got to get to thinking on that. I'm a troll. I love to be a troll. We're going to have to think of a troll-like machine to, to kill Stina with. But let's go back through here. Of course, the one episode that I want to do this is the one episode we're going to have trouble with portals. I had plans for another episode today, and I've got two people that I needed to meet up with. They said they would be able to, to meet up with me, but we just haven't been able to coordinate it yet. So I'm probably going to have to hold off till next episode. And what stinks is, and this is my this is my lot in life, I have an idea. I want to execute it. And I always end up making the idea come to fruition after the real world hype is already gone. See, there's like this whole thing going on right now in the real world. And I had this cool idea on the server where I could link it and be like, ha ha, everybody in the world, go ahead and use your hashtags. Piggy's episode will match your hashtags. And then Piggy can get like uber super famous because of it. Yeah, I could piggyback on other people's hashtags. There we go with that. Yep, see? And that's what happens. Instead, I get kicked out of the server, and by the time we get logged back on and I can execute my really cool idea, everything's passed, and people are like, Piggy, Piggy, you boomer, what are you doing? Look at here. This hashtag happened 22 hours ago. What are you doing? We've moved on since then. So fine. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go. I'm going to run with my idea anyway. Maybe, maybe I can bring back the hashtag in me round two. Yeah. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, so if I see the chunks load, then I know that everything's, everything's, well, 
Okay, so everything's still a little weird here. There we go. Okay, stuff is loading. So that's good. So what I'm thinking about doing is maybe we can work on the 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 tunnel to my portal here. I, I need to know how high up, without getting lava in the face, how high up can we go here? The other thing, okay, so let's let's be strategic about this. I need to only dig a one wide spot for right now because if we dig it any bigger, okay, there's there's bedrock. Bedrock looks like it's starting at that level. Let's move up a little bit more. Let's see here. Bedrock is here. So basically this level right here is as high up as we can go. Um, actually one block down because whatever we want to make as the ceiling will be at that level. So let's go ahead and do that. So right here. So that is, let's count these out. Um, and I don't have any other blocks with me. Let's see here. Um, oh, this is going to be so, and I know that this kind of messes with the YouTube video. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight to the ceiling. Okay. Now, that doesn't mean that we can't dig down, but the idea that I have, I don't think it's going to quite work being able to dig down because, I mean, we do need to eventually get to this point right here. Now, beyond this point is a bit of a longer tunnel, and this leads over to um, to two different things. That's where, that's where I found them pigs at. Um, it leads over here to this, which is just super awesome if you haven't seen it. Whoa, where does that go? <gasps> Death and destruction. What is this? To Elf, oh ho! We figured it out, Spiderweb Ninja. Now we know how to get to Elf Island. But so we've got this really cool pickup truck. Oh my gosh! I never noticed that. She's got dice. <laughs> that is so cool. The crazy little details that people come up with. Oh my gosh, Spiderweb Ninja. But yeah, look, it, it's the portal that takes us over the Texas area. Um, if you if you don't know what that is, maybe you're newer to the series. Uh, way back at the beginning of this. <gasps> Way back at the beginning, I always come to the nether without gold like an idiot. I always forget that that's a thing that has to happen. You get out of here. Nobody likes you. Go. Okay, nobody got mad. Oh, no, he got mad. Get out of here. Yeah, you and your little brother, too. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, eat the carrot. Wow, them guys can hit. But yeah, if you go back near to the beginning of the the uh, Season 2 Alpha Craft, me and Spiderweb Ninja started a Texas area, which is where these really cool I Love Texas banners came from. So that pickup truck leads you to the Texas area, and then this is the uh, back entrance to Spiderweb Ninja's portal right through here. You know what I just realized? Oh, piggy, piggy, piggy. Okay, I can't say anything yet. Let's go and close this. I'll let you... What is this for? Ooh, we found a stash. Yes, we did. And then right here is where I've been dumping diamonds whenever we get mending books sold, which haven't sold very much lately. We have saturated the market, I tell you. But anyway, something else is going to have to go right here because this is the throughway that Spiderweb Ninja would have to take to go from her portal over to the Ender Farm, the Ender Ender, if she wanted to get uh, experience and heal up her stuff. She taught us a trick. Yes, she did. She taught us a trick, and so now we need to return the favor. <laughs> so I'm going to go gather up a bunch of materials and start digging this out. I really hope I have the materials, because if I don't, it's going to make this a really difficult episode. But we're going to start trying to transform this spot into a respectable tunnel that looks nice, that's on theme with what our area is about. And maybe we can flee Spiderweb Ninja in the process. So you just sit tight, and I'll meet you right back over here. <gasps> Not again. Not again! Oh no, not again! Get out of here! You bother me. And here we come up to the portal. Or the tunnel for the portal. So right now I've just got this dirt set up. That way as I'm working on it, I can, I can put a block of dirt right here. And it's kind of like a spoiler-free zone. People can run by the portal, and they're not going to spoil anything. But look what we've got going so far. So the first thing I've done is I've just opened this up. Open it up and use the path blocks. Because the path blocks is really a, uh, a huge theme for the base. The fact that we're turning all the grass into path blocks 
around the mountainside, and then we're going to start decorating them. And then I, f I thought about it, you know, I, I want to build some stuff outside of this. But I want people, every once in a while, you mess up. You think that you've got everything spawn-proof. And so there could possibly be something that could spawn in this area. And I don't want things to spawn. I, I want this to be locked off. I want that backside to be locked off. I want to be sure that no zombie pigs or anything can make it through my portal into my base and nothing can harass people from here as well. So by putting this here, we're going to create a safety zone. You are safe in, in through here. You're not going to have anything spawn and attack you. You can look at everything that's out there, but you can't go run around in it, which is good because as we start to build it, we're going to have to do maybe a few tricks to get it built. And it, it pushes your eyes forward. You see that there's a path. You're compelled to follow the path and it's going to send you on your way and everything else is just decoration. So that's the, that's the basic idea of it. Now, what I've done also is I started working up here. Now, this is where it's going to start making sense where I said, oh no, I hope it doesn't seem like I'm copying Spiderweb Ninja because her, uh, her tunnel to her portal uses a bunch of black concrete and it looks like you're running across a giant limb to a tree. And then when you get to her base, you pop out in a tree. So that was my concern, was it was going to look like that. We're going to go ahead and open this up so we can get an idea. See how high up that is? Now, standing here in-game, I can see just the subtleness of the texture, and I can tell that that's black concrete. Just running through here, though, where's that light source coming from? There's light. Oh, down there is a... Is that the only light? The light and the light from the portal, I guess. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and get rid of this real quick. You are messing with the footage. We got to get you out of here. Which is all right. We're going to go ahead and fix all this back up here in just a minute. Well, let's see how this looks with a little bit less light going on. Yeah, I can still see some of the texture, but it's okay. It's okay because we're going to add some more stuff in here. And so the concrete itself is going to become a backdrop to what we're going to see. So, like I said, I want this area right here to be nice and level for you running to the portal. But moving away from the portal, it's not going to be so level. Um, let's do this. Let's just break through here. So the next thing I'm going to need to do is we're going to start opening this up. We're going to start pushing it back. Now, if I'm not mistaken, let's do this real quick. We're going to cut, cut that off so that's safe. If anything does spawn there, it won't get, get on the path. Let's see here. We've got... From this edge, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20 to that edge. And then let's go in here and count down 20, 19, 18, 17, 16 to this wall. So we've got 15 blocks we could dig in this direction. And I think we've got quite a bit we can, yeah, there's nothing over here on this side. Which is fine. I'm, I don't think I'm going to need that many. But just in case, because you know what happens when you start getting to building stuff, sometimes your creativity gets gets out of hand a little bit, and so you just start digging and digging. <laughs> but I'll go ahead and show you the example going in this direction, because we don't have to worry as much about um, going the distance and going for speed and all that stuff. So let's break through here and start chiseling away at this. And what I want to do is I want to start building... A, uh, environment on both sides of the path it's going to kind of arch over us as well so we'll start doing this let's see here I, I don't think necessarily I'm going to need that for right there so one thing that we're going to need to do is go back to the base I'm going to need to get a whole bunch of snow I donated a bunch of snow to Stina Rose and Aletha because they were building a, a tunnel to the mining desert we're going to need some snow. But basically what we're going to do is I'm going to start with uh, snow and, and grass and stuff like that. And we're going to start doing like, I think you got to dig a little bit more for this to make sense. People are just going to sit there and scratch their heads. <laughs> break that out. Break that out. There we go. Break it out, you guys. We'll do like this. And then maybe start building up a little bit of elevation. Something like that. We're going to work that as an elevation on both different sides. So it feels like we're a little bit in a valley. Not a big valley. I don't, I, you know, we've only got that to work with, and I still need to build some stuff 
up, um, we're going to use the fact that it's going to look like nighttime in here to help us hide a few things um, and maybe help us mess with uh, some perspective. It's like if you work with angles and you work with different things and kind of mess with your mind a little bit, you can make things seem bigger than they are by drawing the eye to certain details and pushing the eye away from things like this black backdrop, which just kind of makes your mind, like if you glance up at it with all the other stuff that's gonna be here, you're gonna think that's actually farther away than it is. So that's kind of a, a cool little trick that you can use on your mind. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig out some more of this, go get a bunch of snow and whatnot, and try to push these walls back and get a little bit more going. I also need to uh, get some some stone and stuff because I want to build a, a thing up right here so that this makes sense so that when you pass through it and you get to the other side, which is the base, that your brain's going to kind of click. We're building basically a diorama and here's what we are. We're trying to build a diorama themed off of our base. So yeah. <laughs> Let me go get more materials. I need some snow. Check. Um, I I need some stone, check, and I need some other stuff, but I can't tell you what that is yet or else you'll figure out what's going on, okay? So y'all just sit tight. I'm going to get some more stuff done, bring you back, and give you a little bit more progress update as to what in the world is going on with this tunnel. So I've been working a little bit on this side. I wanted to kind of have something to show you just to kind of show you... Um, the process that I'm going through and what exactly my logic is so that when you see the other, the other side done, it won't be like, whoa, Piggy, you did so much. Come on now. <laughs> so what I, the first thing I've done is I've gone through and gotten a whole bunch of snow from my snow factory and I started laying out a basic shape of how I want the ground to be. I know I'm not looking left. I'll look left in just a minute. And then I started showing where the elevation is going up. Now, when you add snow on top of a grass block, it changes. It changes to a snow block, which is just awesome because I want this to look like a wintry scene. I didn't want green grass to grow. Now, the problem is if you put two layers on it, it kills the grass and you lose this really cool little grass block look. Now, the reason why you would do one versus two, I'm going to hit F7. This is going to turn on a mod I'm using called a light level mod. It's showing me red X's is a spawnable space. So we can see that it's very dark in here. That's actually a spawnable space. That is not. But I want this look because when I back up, you notice we're getting some really cool variations in texture in the way that things look by doing either one layer or two layers. I'm not going to look over there yet. <laughs> So see, by doing this, I'm like, okay, let's do like that, and then maybe like that. And at first it looks, you know, like everything's going to be fine, but trust me, in just a moment or two, that grass will die, and then it'll change back. Now, the only thing that we would have to worry about this spot being spawnable is if there's enough space above it for something to spawn. If there's a block, like if there's a space of air and then one block above it, then we don't have to worry about anything. That's exactly what we're going to do. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, Piggy, how are you going to do that? It looks very cramped in here. You can't leave it like this. It's not going to look right. It's not going to look good. Well, trust me, okay? I've got a plan of how we're going to make this work. So let's turn around here, get down here, and I'm going to show you what I've done with where the portal is at. Started building a bit of a cave. And we're going to drag it and, and taper it downwards that way. And downwards that way and I mean you can see that the roof is very close to the top but as we back up because it's black it just looks like it's gonna be a low cave and we can see a, a maybe like a, a night sky or something like that but like I said we're gonna add a few more touches and details if we add as we add a few more things in here stuff is gonna start looking a little bit more like there's stuff going on in here. It's not going to feel so claustrophobic. Now, the other reason why I've done this is because we can see one, two, three, and then four blocks up to put the black concrete up. Right now, oh, we need to plug this up. Ooh, there I go, a yawning. <laughs> but right now, if we were to start busting all this up and we ran into a lava source block, the lava source would pour down. It would start to melt the snow, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to leave this level here. We're going to clear that out. And once we know that there's no level, we can also, or lava on that level, 
will also be high up enough that I can reach up and place uh, the black concrete blocks. And then once we're done, we'll re remove this one layer and then everything will finally open up. Now, the other thing is we can see right here is where the blue concrete is for this. And we can't do anything to that. We can't move that concrete. Because if I do, it'll be like Piggy playing peekaboo. <laughs> You'll be able to see me right through there. We can't have that. So that is our extreme outer edge. So we've got to do something right in here that's going to let us hide this. And also is going to help us conserve a little bit. See, everything that's a backdrop is going to use black concrete. And this concrete is a real pain to make, I tell you what. I wish there was an easier way to make it in Minecraft, but right now there's not. So what we've got to do is we've got to start filling in this back. And what I'm going to do is a little trick to conserve. So as we start populating stuff in here and you start moving forward, you're not really going to pay attention to the outer edge right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to curve this a little bit. We're going to do something like this. fill that in and then we can put black concrete diagonally through here I might smooth that out just a little bit more in shape but with that black concrete right in there you'll have a backdrop it'll push your eyes to, to pay attention not to the backdrop but to the things right in front of it and we're going to be able to mask what's going on here and you won't have to worry about seeing the blue concrete but we can still build all the way up to this edge if we want to so that's the whole plan right there. Like I said, I'm going to work on this side and make it look nice. Oh, Piggy, stop the yawn and you're going to make everybody watching yawn. <laughs> but I'm going to work out this on video so you can see what's going on. And then we can come back at the end and have this all busted out for like a final reveal for how everything looks. Okay. So that's, that's the next step I've got to do is I've got to clear out this upper area and start filling it in with black concrete. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back and I'm going to have some stuff built here. I'm going to have this already cleared out, blown out and everything and start populating this area with the materials of what it's going to look like. Just so you can see what in the world Piggy sees in his brain right now. Because right now I see an image. I see a really cool image. There's no promise that it's going to end up looking like that image when we're done. I have no idea. But I have an idea of what I want it to look like. You just have to trust me that I'm going to be able to work, move these blocks in a way that's going to make it work. Okay? We'll make it work. <laughs> So y'all sit tight, and I'll bring you back in just a second. Now, I don't know where you think you're going or where you came from, but you just keep going that way. You go over there, because I got something to show everybody. You're going to get my way. <laughs> so let's go and pop through here. I'll show you what I have built so far. I'm 50-50 on it. I'm liking the way it's turning out. Oh, there we go. Back up. But see, it's just, I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I'm being a troll. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Oh, that is weird. I, a few minutes ago, I didn't have like a weird little shadow thing going on right there. Okay. But yeah, look. So we've got, you know, a hill. We have got some trees. Uh-oh. I feel like... I feel like that spot needs to be filled in. Okay, I do have some leaves on me. Okay, let's... And I already fixed the uh, the fence. Let's break this because I'm going to need to go in there anyway and show you what's going on. There we go. That looks a little bit better. But see, everywhere that I've got spots that you would normally have, you know, too high and something could spawn, I've just gone ahead and put leaf blocks over it with the trees. And so that way we can still get these cool little variations going on. But at the same time, um, we don't have to worry about things spawning over here. And then, hmm, which ones are they? See, it, it's it's funny. It's like they're all different, but when they all turn gray, they look very, very similar. There are different kinds of coral fans, coral fans that I've collected. You, you put them in the grass, or you put them in the ground, and they look like frozen grass. Let's go ahead and turn this off. There we go. Get rid of the, the red, just so it's not so distracting. So there you go. So this is what it would look like walking in here. You've got a portal up ahead, and you've got this winter scene with just some wintry looking grass and some uh, some different little shapes for trees. And the only thing that's kind of annoying to me is that top block. I can't I can't get snow on top of it because it's literally up against the concrete. Now I thought about breaking the block above it and putting uh, snow on it. 
The only problem with that is, see how we can see the edge of the snow? Well, you wouldn't be able to see that. You would see the snow through the leaf, but you wouldn't see the edge of the snow. <clears throat> so it would still look weird. Oh, gosh. Okay, water time. Oh, man. Yeah, we're having issues, all kinds of issues today, aren't we? So that's the basic gist of what I want to do with this area is just make it feel like a winter wonderland scene so that when you walk through there and you see the giant snowy mountain and the, the different vegetation we're going to add over there, that it all kind of makes sense what's going on. But now I have to fix up this side. Now this side is going to be very, very similar to this. We're going to do something slightly different with this side. Nothing too extreme, but I'm just going to try something slightly different. So that, you know, you're not seeing the same thing on both sides. You still want it to feel a little natural. You know what that is? I think when you're in the nether, see how far, far away it looks red? Yeah, that's what's going on. We've got the red haziness. And that haziness lets us see that corner a little bit better. As we move up and get closer, it starts to fade. Okay. Yep. Oh, that stinks. So back here... You can see that, that border edge. It ruins it, Precious. It does. All right. Well, I guess it's going to be what it's going to be. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know why when uh, the... Um, see, I got invited to the server after the server had already started, so I don't quite know what the logic was. But I know there was a reason why they built these roads so high up to the ceiling. It would have been nice if maybe they were about 15 or 20 blocks lower. You could have had a lot more space. Like if this had become tall enough to become a ceiling, we could have some really high trees up in here. But I think for what we've got going on, it, it, let's do this. Just, just for this moment, we'll put these back as soon as I'm done. I'm just kind of curious. Like you feel like you're in this slightly claustrophobic tunnel and you come along. That's kind of cool, actually. It's like you get over here, and all of a sudden it feels like there's this big open something over here, which is also, see, I didn't plan this. I did not plan this at all, but it just kind of like serendipity worked out that um, the openness, the bigness, it mimics my base, which is just an insane giant, um, more than I should have chewed off kind of build is what it's become. So, all right, well, I've rambled enough, so I'm going to go ahead and work on blowing out this section, uh, filling up with concrete, building up the trees and stuff, and adding that extra little something different over here just so that you feel like it's a little more, bit more out in a natural open area. And the other thing I must say, hear those sounds in the background, those weird nether sounds that they've added? I feel like in a small, subtle way, it kind of sounds like winter wind rustling through at night. That's one I tell myself, anyway. <laughs> All right, so let me get working on this side and bring you back so you can see the final result of Piggy's Portal. And here we go. This is what it's going to look like for anybody that comes to visit the area. You ready? <gasps> look. There's a pig head up there. I moved it. Yes, I did. But I still have to do one more thing. I'm going to look down so that you can't see. <laughs> Actually, I needed to fix this one spot. So now everything is spawn proof. Okay, so you ready? Come through this way. And look. It's like a whole big world in there. It's crazy. Close that up. Look at this. It took me a day. Not to build. Not to build. Although this did take... Uh, uh, about a day to do this episode but but yeah I, I i went to sleep i came back and decided to take a look at this and it's i think i like it i think it works i went out wandering around and i found some uh some dogs i didn't tame them because i don't want their collars to show up i want these to look and be wild dogs um now i tried to breed them I tried to give them some meat to see if they would breed i could get the hearts but i couldn't get um I couldn't get them to breed. So if I find some more dogs, maybe I'll bring some over. At first, I tried foxes, and it looked really cool. I had these foxes running around in here, but they can jump over a fence. So then I tried to put a too tall fence. Not too tall, but like too post tall. They could it, then, then it like blocked the view. This view looked cool, and this side looked weird because there were two fences. So I just went ahead and went with dogs. 
Dogs are also in um, in the taigas, in the snowy biome. So I think it works. And then I've, I've tested it and I've watched them. I don't think there's a way that they can climb out. I think I've made it in such a way that every single block is is two blocks tall wherever they can climb around so they can't get out of there, which is cool. So I don't have to worry about them wandering off. But that's the really, really nice little uh, portal look. We'll back up. This is what it would look like if you come through the portal. See, it looks like a little winter wonderland with a little opening at the end. I'm really liking how this worked out. I wish there was a way to do stars. I really do. But I can't really figure out a way to do it. Not that it would look right. But let's go ahead and step through here. Check this out. I went ahead and made it look like it's just a, a regular stone cave. All this is half slab, so we don't have to worry about any bad guys spawning in here. I did have a uh, uh, one of those hoglin, not hoglin, but piglin type creature things show up in here with some crossbows and some gold swords. And by the time I could react to the one with the gold sword, he killed me. <laughs> so I had to run back and get all my stuff. That was a fun little adventure. But once we get over here, you hear that? Yes, spider. You help me. You help me figure out how to get money. So we're going to make money now. Look, the spider toll. It's one diamond block per ticket. So if she wants to come through here to make her way to my base or to go over to the uh, the ender ender, she's got to buy a toll ticket. One time use. One time on her system. <laughs> now, this was a happy accident right here. I was um, I was looking for, you know what? I think we can do that and the spider won't be able to get out, right? You know what I don't want to do? I don't want to tempt fate. That that didn't look like it was a full block. It looked like it was half blocks. And the last thing I want is that spider to be able to get out. That was a nightmare to get in there. And I don't want the spider to be able to bite you as you're trying to get your ticket. So I, I was looking for and I found some cave spider uh, spawners. And I was going to dig down and get the cave spider and get a cave spider in there which would have been even more of a nightmare because they can fit through a one by one block and underneath the bridge it had been nighttime and i noticed some this little uh this little particle effect coming off there was one of these spiders up underneath my bridge so i smacked it and i got it angry and i made it chase me in here and now it's it's gonna be shy and hide in the corner <laughs> but since since spider web ninja hired a pig to keep an eye on me, I've hired a spider to keep an eye on her. So yeah, now maybe now maybe we can make our money back from that toll. And you know what's cool? Here's what's really cool. So her toll booth, I can just fly over it because I got wings now. I can just fly right over the toll booth. Good luck, Ninja. Good luck trying to fly over this because we're right near bedrock. You can't fly over. And you can't dig through the walls. That's the rules I just made up. <laughs> Oh my gosh, but if you enjoyed this episode, please click that like button. If you want to see more of these as I release them, you're not already subscribed and you want to be, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well. And if you want to be notified whenever new videos come out, click the notification bell. I really like how this turned out. I can't believe that it took us this many episodes before I decided to go ahead and decorate my portal and make it look nice. But now that we got it, oh, I love it. Yes, I do. We're not going to have to worry about the ugly, ugly netherrack tunnel ever again on this season <laughs> oh man oh man but thank you so much for watching i had a whole lot of fun making this episode and i ho hope you had fun watching it as well and i can't wait to see you in the next episode of alpha craft say bye dogs